Hello guys! Review of flashlight with integrated laser Klesch 2 PS Plus laser and its modification Klesch 2 IKS Plus laser version 2.0. Characteristics, what's in the kit, how to switch between modes and how to Klesch up your rifle on an example of this exact setup. My name is Anastasia, let's go! Klesch 2 PS Plus laser is the most popular Zenitko flashlight, which is highly appreciated both by military and civilian users. We've been manufacturing it for more than 10 years, and through this time it passed several updates. About two years ago I made a review of this flashlight, I will leave a link in the description, but that was previous generation. Now generation 2.0 came out, so it deserves a new video. Electronics were changed, Kit was changed, also in the previous video I didn't demonstrate all the modes, so there are still some modes that need explanation. Klesch 2 PS Plus laser is manufactured in three modifications right now. Klesch 2 PS Plus laser red, Klesch 2 PS Plus laser green plus, so the difference is the color of visible laser, and one more modification with different name. Klesch 2 IKS Plus Laser, that is an infrared version of this device, so infrared flashlight plus infrared laser, everything else is the same. The body is the same, the kit is the same. I will show the kit, the updated kit of generation 2.0 on an example of Klesch 2 PS Plus Laser Green Plus. Manual in two languages, Russian and English, I recommend to read it. Next. B9AK gooseneck rail. Hex key to zero the laser. The kit includes one more, I will show it. Switch. The switch was changed in comparison with previous generation. This is KVD2P switch and the flashlight of generation 2.0 is compatible with all switches of D line. They begin with KVD, including KVD3-2P, I will talk about it later. The switch can be mounted either on basis rail, for basis there are oval mount and plate mount in the kit, and on Picatinny. For Picatinny there is a special adapter. The flashlight is packed into this glorious aluminum can, very useful item in every household. The body of the device it's a milled product made of aluminum D16T. There is a switch on the back, a place to connect the tactical switch, indicator of work. It uses two CR123 batteries. Battery compartment is right here. Two buttons, flashlight and laser. This is Russian F, stands for flashlight. This is Russian L, stands for laser. Mount on Picatinny rail. In the front there is laser zeroing unit here and here. You do not touch these screws. Also extra zeroing key after you lose this one. Modes. Studio is nice, but it will be more illustrative to demonstrate them at the range. So let's watch video from the range. Klesch 2 PS Plus laser flashlight. Distance 20 meters. Flashlight plus laser. Only flashlight. Only laser. I adjust the brightness of the laser. Laser. 
I adjust the brightness of the flashlight. I turn the flashlight on in stroboscope mode. I turn the laser on in pulsation mode. How to switch between modes? There are three main control buttons on the body, now I am demonstrating situation when the remote switch is not connected, back button on-off, side buttons, flashlight mode, laser mode. First thing to do, press the back button, the LED indicator lights up, it means that the device is on. You may ask, but it does not shine? Yes, because I haven't selected the mode yet. Then select the mode, for example, I press flashlight button, flashlight is on, once again it's off. Laser button, laser is on. Once again, off. I can control brightness of both flashlight and laser for that. Turn on the mode and with initially turned on mode, press and hold the back button. The brightness starts decreasing by levels and when you reach the desired level of brightness, stop holding the back button. This brightness is saved now. For example, if I switch the device off, and turn it on again, it turns on in selected mode with selected brightness. You can turn on flashlight and laser simultaneously and you can turn them both in pulsation or stroboscope mode. For that the mode should be initially turned off and you turn it on with a double pressing, like this. Now flashlight stroboscope and laser in constant mode. And if I turn it off and turn it on again, it preserves this stroboscope mode. Also, you remember I decreased the brightness. I can quickly switch to maximum brightness for that with initially turned on mode, press the back button twice. Now the flashlight is in maximum brightness mode. Also, there is a tactical mode. I Press and hold back button and it lights up only when I am pressing. When I stop pressing it, it turns off. The same modes exist in infrared range and uh, you control them the same way. Let's watch video in infrared range. Clash 2 IKS plus laser flashlight, distance 20 meters. Modes. Flashlight plus laser. Only flashlight, only laser. I adjust the brightness of laser. I turn the laser on in pulsation mode. I turn the flashlight on in stroboscope mode. Let's see possible setups. I will start with a regular one. By regular I mean that I use all the stuff from the kit. I use B9AK mount, it is installed on lower Picatinny rail of B10M handguard. I use KVD2P remote switch with an adapter for Picatinny rail, it is also installed on Picatinny rail. I also use some things not from the kit that are FP2 wire holders that are very comfortable because they have these little hooks at side, so they are holding a wire in Picatinny rail and they are holding it on the side. Very comfortable, nothing interferes. I will install the flashlight now. First thing to do, I will connect it to the tactical switch. For that I combine small red dots to find them first. Here they are. 
to take off, pull the ring on the connector. Next, B9AK has a special groove for the wire, also very comfortable, and I install the flashlight on Picatinny ring. Done. Modes with tactical switch are the same as without it. The differences are switch has this rotary switch to control brightness and it also has a safety lock. For example, now it is not on safety so I turn it on and it lights up. But if I turn on safety and I press the button, it is locked. That is for elimination of accidental turning on, when you don't need that. Let's go to the second rifle that I demonstrated in the beginning of the video. There are two devices installed on it. On the bottom, Klesch 2 PS plus laser, on the side Klesch 2 IKS plus laser, so on the bottom, visible flashlight and visible laser, on the side, infrared flashlight, infrared laser. You may say, that's a lot? No, that's not a lot. A lot will be like four flashlights zeroed for different distances. That's a lot. And that's a setup that is used in real life and I've seen such setups, moreover, I've seen all the generation of those flashlights in this setup and all the generations required separate switches for each flashlight. And uh, Clash 2 PS, Clash 2 IKS plus laser beginning with generation 2.0, they're compatible with D line of tactical switches, including KVD3 slash 2P tactical switch that allows to control two devices simultaneously. So with one switch and uh, two devices, you can cover the whole range, infrared and visible. That is very comfortable. About other stuff which is used in this setup, this is Sport 4 kit. It has basis rails, so switch is installed on basis rail. Uh, the bottom flashlight is installed on B two additional Picatinny rail, side flashlight is installed on B9L mount, which is installed directly on basis rail. Also FP2 wire holders are used on the top and on sides FP3 wire holders for basis are used. Interesting variant of setup. Klesch 2PS plus laser flashlights can be ordered in partner stores. See the list on official partners on en.zenitko.ru in partners section. If you have any questions left, write them in comment section. Press the like button if you like the video and follow our channel. Soon I will release a review of many new products, including new handguards, red dot and bipods. So, Stay with us. Goodbye.